G'day QB, I hope you're doing well. It's my privilege today to be joined by Kevin Griffiths, the new CEO of Carinity, one of our outreaches of Queensland Baptist. Welcome Kevin, four weeks in the role. Great to have you with us today. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you, Jason. Um, yeah, a bit about me. Tell by the accent. I'm from England originally, but been a proud Australian since 1999. Um, career in the aviation industry before God's called me to Carinity and a number of other roles. And just so thrilled and excited to be part of the movement. Awesome. Well, why Carinity? Why is this role what God's got for you in this season? I think it's an interesting one. I shared at QB Conference my three Ps, which are people, purpose, and plan. I love working with people and through people to serve people. It's what my career has been about. Um, the purpose of Carinity is so special, existing to make a real difference in the lives of people at a time when they need help and support, and in a way that points to Christ is amazing. And plan just... Being part of God's great plan, I've joined, and I said at QB Conference, I didn't have a plan coming into this role, and my tune, my job was to tune into God's great plan, yeah. and he's revealing that really quickly, and that's so exciting. But I suppose the anchor is the two words in one of our mission statements, which is real difference. Yeah. Um, I think we all exist to make a real difference into the lives of people, whether they be the clients and residents that we serve or actually our own staff. Well, mate, it's been great to have you on board already, and it doesn't seem like uh, only four weeks that you've been with us. I know you've got to know uh, lots of people. You've been getting around, uh, meeting people, and people have really appreciated the effort uh, uh, that you've made. And this is a really exciting year for Carinity. As you said, Carinity's been making a real difference for a long time. In fact, this year, celebrating 75 years of uh, Carinity. Just tell us a little bit about the, uh, the celebrations for the anniversary. I think for me, milestones are always a great point just to pause and reflect and look back. And the origin story of Carinity is just amazing. A group of good and faithful servants of God coming together, raising three and a half thousand pounds as it was then to yeah. create our first aged care home and creating that legacy. So this year is going to be going back and actually saying, the reason they did what they did is the reason why we do what we do today. So looking back on that journey and seeing how we've grown from just residential age care into this broad variety of services that we offered to Queenslanders. So it's going to be an exciting one. I'm uh, looking forward to celebrating all that God's done. How can we as a movement be uh, praying for you, praying for your team, praying for the ministry of Carinity? I think the starting point for me is to acknowledge that Carinity is bigger than a lot of people might think it is. A lot of people see Carinity and think of residential age care. Sure. We actually have a scope that serves into youth, families, chaplaincy, retirement villages, and education. There's so much need across Queensland for love, light, and hope of Christ. So mm -hmm. the prayer that I would be asking for is just to pray for the people we care for, pray for the team that care for them, and just pray for wisdom and leadership and for God's generous and abundant provision for Carinity into the future. Amen. Hey, that, that is the heart of Jesus, and I just want to encourage you to, uh, to keep praying for uh, all of the people that uh, Carinity comes into uh, touch with, you know, Kevin, uh, you and your team are being the hands and the feet of Jesus as part of uh, uh, Queensland Baptists, and uh, thank you for all that you're doing. Is there one last word that you'd love to give our movement as you uh, talk a little bit about Carinity? Uh, I, I suppose the one thing I'd share um, is just I've been so touched by the work that the team are doing. Um, it's hard to put into words some of the experience I've had just touching some of our sites. And I just point to Carinity Southside Education that I know, Jason, you're joining us at. Yeah. That's a school that exists for young girls and ladies who the mainstream has failed them. They often come in having experienced the brokenness of the world. And the team there, Leanne, and all the team are just amazing. They're just trying to show girls that what love is. Yeah and that they're loved. And so the thing is, I just say to the movement, 
be proud of what's happening. There are people out there doing some incredible work. And as we go forward, we'd love to partner more with the movement. And as you said, if nothing else, pray for us, please. Yeah. We can never have enough prayer. Well, thank you, Kevin. Thanks for uh, joining us today. We'd love to partner together. You know, that is the heart of our whole movement. It's why we get to serve uh, Jesus together right across uh, Queensland. So please be praying and look for ways that as local churches we can partner together with Carinity uh, to see the, the compassion of Jesus, the hope of Jesus spread right throughout the community of Queensland. Thanks again, Kevin. Absolutely. Great pleasure. to have you on the team. Thank you.